Hello and welcome to episode 88 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on praying and sacrificing at an altar. Right, okay, let's start by showing you my faith because remember that is the reason for us praying. Although, to be honest, I've been praying and sacrificing a lot this year, and it has nothing to do with worm, but that's a sorry story you definitely don't want to hear. Anyway, I drift. So, we are praying to get our faith to 30, so we can become a priest and let the awesome spell casting and enchanting begin. You will see that both of them are a lot of fun, and... The world of worm will just get much bigger once you can start making yourself really nice items with enchants on them and when you can go about the land blessing and healing other people how wonderful is that so let's show you praying uh, now when i pray i want you to notice two things i want you to notice my faith increasing and I want you to notice my prayer increasing, my prayer skill, okay? And don't worry, I will explain um, this by reading the Wormpedia once we are done praying. Okay, now this character, I have, as you know, I've told you I've got a naught which is following all three religions, Venora, Foe, and Magronon. Now, I believe this character is... Magronon. I'm not 100% sure. So, um, what I will do, let's bring up the uh, the character sheet first of all, so I can show you. Um, I can show you my um, the praying what it looks like. So let's bring that up. Let's switch. Okay, so I believe I'm Magronon. Let's go stand before Magronon. To pray, you right click on the altar and then left click pray. Okay, you don't see the animation there, but if someone's standing around you, they'll see you on your knees praying. Now observe the two skills that I mentioned, faith and prayer. You see it takes a certain amount of time to pray. Remember, you can only pray once every 30 minutes, and you can only pray a maximum of five times every day. So there we are. That went up, and that went up. Also, our religion went up, which is, remember, the overall skill for all of these sub-skills. Okay, so we've done a bit of praying. If you want to become a priest, you will need to pray, like I say, until your faith reaches 30. And I'm nearly there because um, I will be doing a priest episode soon. Anyway, let's now read from the wonderful Wormpedia to see all of the benefits of praying. So I'm going to read the praying page from Wormpedia. Description. Praying can increase your faith and give occasional gifts and boosts. Now, on that subject, notice over here, I've got 10 iron coins. You can get other items of gifts, but money is one of them. Okay, you can get anything up to silver, in fact, when praying. The, the money we will deposit in our token, and we can use it in the future for buying things from the player trader NPC. Okay, but you get gifts from praying. That's what the Wormpedia has just told us. Okay, so carrying on. It used to contribute directly to how quickly you regain favour, but this is no longer the case. So there we are uh, with regards to that. In fact, at the moment, you only gain half the favour while praying compared to when doing nothing. Remember that we said if you do an action you will only get half of the prayer so there we go or half of the favor sorry if you're doing an action so that demonstrates that it is still being discussed whether or not 
player what whether or not prayer skill affects the type and amounts of rewards given when praying at an altar. So if you do notice anything with when you're doing all of that, then leave a comment and mention it. Prayer timer is affected by praying skill and quality of the altar. So the two factors there are the quality of our altar, mine is 23, and the prayer skill itself. Okay, that determines when you pray the timer and how long it is now that would have more effect in worm online for us worm unlimited players i'm not sure it will have a great deal of effect but then again having said that if you notice something about that the timer gets extremely much shorter then again leave a comment and mention okay continuing on on um the wormpedia you also gain the characteristic soul strength and soul depth. So over here in our skills window, we open up soul. You'll see, see we gained some soul strength. If we take a look at that, you will see gained by skills like mining, channeling, paving, taming uh, and praying as well. And also aids in the casting of nag. Magronon and Libella spells. Well, this character is Magronon, so when I get to casting spells, it's going to help me. Likewise, if you're with Libella. So they're all interlinked. As you know, in Worm, every skill has a link to another skill somewhere along the tree. Okay, moving on. Gaining faith. You need to pray at an altar of. Yeah, I think I've actually covered that you see the wormpedia is so interlinked i just want to check whether there's any information which will be new to you i'll just in fact skip that and go to the praying locations you can pray at other locations other than altars depending on your god while these actions will still give you prayer skill Praying at these locations does not increase your faith, but you can still get gifts. So you pray at an altar mainly for getting your faith skill up, your prayer skill up, your religion skill up and your soul skills up. You can pray at these other locations, but you won't get any faith gain. For foe, you can pray at overaged or shriveled trees. For Venora, you can pray at water tiles. For Magronon, you can pray at rock tiles, so in your mine. For Libilla, you can pray over the corpses. Okay, moving on. Gifts from the gods. The skill pray, prayer can give a gift to the player. Here are some of the messages you may get and what effect it has. You send your prayers to, to the god. The God is pleased with your devotion and you gain faith. So you can get a faith gain as one of the gifts. Okay, how much? You tell me when you, that happens to you, if you notice. Your pocket suddenly feels heavier. Gift of 1 to 10 iron coins. Well, as you can see, I've got that gift because I've got 10 iron coins. Your pocket suddenly feels heavy. Uh, actually, no, I've done that one. Your legs tingle and you feel unstoppable. Far walker effect for 45 seconds. So up here you will notice that you get a new effect called far walker. And it will only last briefly for 45 seconds. The god gives you some favour. Instant 10 favour boost. Well that one's self explanatory. God puts something in your pocket. Receive an item. Can be either one mushroom, flint, salt or gem. Higher skills. Higher skill increases chance of receiving a better gift. So there is a very good reason to get your prayer skill up. Because the higher you get it, the better the gifts that you could potentially get. God grants you faster favour gain. Double favour gain for five, five minutes. So that's good to get that just before you want to do some enchanting or spell casting. You are blessed with some mind logic, a gift of characteristic for Venora followers. So it can give you a minor uh, skill gain. And it does one for Venora, one for Foe, one for Magronon, and one for Venora. Well, actually, sorry, I'll rephrase that. It gives you a mind logic uh, 
gift, a body strength gift, and a body stamina gift. Uh, also, you can get uh, heals you. God heals you. Fully heals one of your wounds. So if you're really desperate, go pray and hope that that wound that's going to kill you gets healed. There's always a way out. God heals creature. A three times three area of effect heal that is only available to priests. Fully heals one wound on every friendly player or creature near you, excluding yourself. So there we are. There's something else. Okay, aside from faith gain, each effect has a base 2% chance of activating. This is not affected by prayer skill, altar type or altar quality. Rare rolls increase the chance of getting these effects. So if you're praying and you hear the drum roll, then cross your fingers and it uh, may have that effect. Okay, just to quickly read, you can get two titles. When your prayer skill gets to 50, you'll become a, reven a reverent, and at 70, you will become pious. Oh yeah. Okay, and under notes, lastly, gem will become a gift at 50 plus faith. Well... I'll have to do some testing with that one, however. Higher skill results in a slight decrease in timer. Example, at 11 prayer, your timer is at 28.3, but at 44, it's at 25. Oh, well, that should still be good to us in Worm Unlimited, because that will save, cut down on the time for our prayers. Right, OK, that's the Wormpedia. I read it to you because I didn't want to miss any information out for those of you, for y'all, that find all this important. OK, moving on, let's now get to sacrificing. OK, now let's look at there are two immediate reasons for sacrificing. One is so that you can get your food and drink top back up to 100, as you're going to observe in a moment. So it'll get topped up to 100%. And the second reason is you will get a gift on rare occasions. So you will also get gifts while sacrificing. So let's sacrifice this rare rock shard that I've got in my inventory. You can sacrifice any rare items, usually the best are rare dirt or rare rock shards, as you will get an abundance of them eventually. So, okay, to sacrifice an item, right click on your chosen god's altar, left click open, drag and drop the item that you want to sacrifice, then right click Either close the window or just simply right click on the altar and left click sacrifice. Now when we do that, I don't know if there's an animation. No, no animation. So the timer's going along. And you can see the text that's scrolling by. But most importantly, observe what happens to our food and water and our nutrition. Are you ready for this? This is why I love sacrificing, and this is why uh, another benefit of becoming a follower, that you don't have to become a priest because there's many other brilliant uses. Now look at that, water, food, and nutrition back to 99%. How cool, how fantastic is that? That means we are gonna be a long time before we get hungry again. And when we do get hungry, we will have to eat less often. So there we are. That's the fantastic sacrificing. Now let's go back to the wonderful Wormpedia and see what it says about sacrificing. Okay, description. Putting an item into an altar and right-clicking the altar will give the option to sacrifice. Items can be sacrificed in an altar representing the god you are following and has several beneficial effects that depend on what you sacrifice and how much. Sacrificing an item will remove it from the world, so apart from sacrificing in order to gain any of the beneficial effects, it's used in order to get rid of junk. Yeah, well, there you go. Requirements. Follower, you have to be a follower of a, a god with at least 10 faith. Okay? Effects. These are the effects you can get sacrificing when sacrificing. You can get favor gain. So let's go over here. Let's bring it up. So I might have got some favor gain when I did that. Healing of wounds. I may again have got healed with some of my wounds. Alignment gain. So my alignment could have went up. 
Um, potion. I could have been given a potion. I wondered how I got them potions in the past. Well, that now explains it. Refill of stamina, nutrition, food and water. Yep, we have observed that. To me, that's the most important. Skill gain. So one of our skills could have got some gain. Dead deed faith bonuses. So if you on your deed, your faith bon you'd get faith bonuses up there. Favour. As mentioned previously, sacrificing items may yield a number of various effects, favour gain being one of them. The amount of favour you gain from sacrificing an item depends on what its value is. Items typically have a get price that you can see when right clicking on them in your inventory. This number is based on the item type, material and quality level and can be used to determine how much favour it will yield when sacrificed. So remember if you have an item in your pocket and right click on it go to prices, get price, it tells you then down here whether it's worth anything. Okay so let's have a look at the money. You see down here it tells you it's worth one iron. That's because it is one iron. You've got to love the logic there. So there we go. That's how you you do that. Okay. Double bonus materials. Each god has a specific material or materials they prefer, which give double the usual favor of deed faith bonus. That means that if you sacrifice an item of a material your god prefers, you'll get twice as much favor or deed faith bonus as the item normally would. For example, if a Venora priest sacrifices a door lock, it gets X amount of favour, but if a Magronon priest sacrifices the same door lock, it gets two times the amount. So there you are for Magronon, you Magronon followers. I'll need to do a, a uh, locksmithing episode in the future, so you can make your locks to sacrifice. Here's a list of the gods and items. Venora, wood. Foe, pottery, cotton, food, magronon, metals, libilla, alchemy ingredients, items, tosuk, cloth, narjo, alchemy ingredient items. Remember, them last two gods are for Worm Online players. Note that for gods that prefer alchemy ingredients, the game does not use the get price value to determine favour game. Instead, it uses a formula, quality level. By 10. For example, sac sacrificing an 80 quality level corn would give a Najo priest up to 8 favour. For deed faith bonus, the normal formula based on the get price value is still used and gives double the bonus like other gods preferred materials. Common double favour gain items. Due to high base value and ease of creation, some items are particularly popular and useful for certain gods. For example, yo-yos are often used by Venora priests because a priest can craft them at high quality without the need for improvement and their base value is higher than most other wooden items. Venora so here's a list of the gods and the items. Venora use yo-yos and torches. Foe use square pieces of cloth. Magronon use door locks. Libilla alchemy ingredients. Tosuk square piece of cloth. Nan Najo alchemy ingredients. So there we are. Healing of wounds. When sacrificing items of high value, the gods might heal your wounds. How much is healed depends on the value of the sacrificed items. Note, more tests needed. Yep, well, that's about true with everything in life. Alignment gain. Sacrificing an item with a high enough get price value will increase your alignment. As with deed faith bonus and favour. An item's value counts as double if it is made from a material preferred by your god. For example, the minimum, the minimum get price value of an aura priest would need to get an alignment increase from a metal item is double what it would need to be for a magronum follower or priest. Okay. Now let's just have a quick look. I think I've read enough from this page on uh, sacrificing. There is lots more, but I don't want to test your patience. That's enough of the important stuff. If you do want to know 
more about what it says on sacrificing then go to the page on Wormpedia, the wonderful Wormpedia on sacrificing and you will see a lot more information. But for now I don't want to uh, send you to sleep, okay, because you're probably nearly there. Instead I will simply say wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.